Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and I've got a very interesting reaction here for you today. Um, the guys over at Blindwave, um, love them, they are fantastic reactors. Um, they have made a few of their own fan films in the past and they have released another one today. It's um, a Star Wars related one called Kylo Ren The Awakening. Um, I'm going to put a link to the original video in the description below. Um, if you haven't checked out Blind Wave, please do. Uh, the guys are absolutely awesome. They watch a lot of the similar series that I do. Uh, any of you guys who are Avatar fans, uh, you may already be aware they, they also react to Avatar. Uh, but if you didn't, go check them out. They're pretty damn cool. So, yeah. Um... I'm really interested to see, you know, from what I've seen of them previous to their fan films, it's always very high quality, they put a lot of work into it, and there's a lot of dedication there. Being a Star Wars fan myself, I'm very interested to see what it's going to be like. So, without further ado, let's take a look, guys. Got my BB-8 mug. We're ready to go. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Yes, I have felt it. Okay, very similar opening to The Force Awakens. Ah, traditional, the Forest Moon of Endor. And there's some traditional Imperial class Star Destroyers. Four months before the Hosnian system's destruction. This looks good. Is that an A-Wing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where that deleted scene went from the uh, film? We never saw that in the end. Uh oh. He's wearing light robes, that means he's a good guy. I've got a feeling this isn't going to end so well for the guy in the light robes. Although he has a green lightsaber. Impressive, uh, impressive blade work. Epic showdown. Oh, oh, the he actually used he used the side blades. Whoa, that's I was gonna say that could have been a mistake. We actually saw them use the uh, the side blades. Oh. Oh. oh no. Oh no, this is Star Wars Rebels stuff. You can see the mutual respect they have. Uh-oh. 
Oh, man, I did not know he could do that. And neither did he. And off with his head. That's an interesting concept. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Wow. Um, he definitely could have... Oh, is that the funeral pyre? I like the muffled... Wow, that was awesome. Wow, well that was pretty awesome. Um, very intrigued with the way that they went about using the lightsaber. Um, de you know, sort of had, had no idea that he could deactivate the main blade. Obviously it's not canon, but it's a very intriguing idea. He certainly could have used with that in the main film, I think, um, to get himself out of, you know, a pickle with uh, Rey. But, you know, hey, that's, again, it goes to show that, um, you know, a tri-blade is the way to go. Um, you can definitely outwit your opponents just through the fact that you have these two little prongs on the side of the lightsaber. Uh, that was a very good short film. Um, you know, there's a lot of dedication that's gone into that. Um, the choreography was very good. The fight, you know, was, was really good. Knew from the beginning the, the, the guy in the lights was going to, unfortunately, uh, suffer. Why is it? Why is it in these fan films? It always seems to be the bad guys who win, you know. Um, maybe as Star Wars fans, we just secretly love the bad guys. But it was really well done, and I wonder how long, um, you know, it took for that to, you know, not just film but to edit to produce. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to see, you know, what the numbers were like there. Um, but very well done, and uh, kudos to the guys at Blind River. Again, guys, if you haven't already checked them out, please do. Um, it, you know, the original video link is uh, in the description below. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I will see you for the next video, guys.